Last time we did a 0 to 60 on this car, we got 6.1 seconds. Yep. And these emails. Can I read them to you, Nathan? <laughs> yeah, did you censor them? Yeah, I, I took the ones that we could read. Okay. Uh, with good drivers, you can get 4.6. 4.6? Which is true at sea level. At sea level. These idiots don't know how to drive. Yeah, we get that a lot. This fat Jeep is slow and useless. Useless. Mm. Yeah. And then my favorite email right here. I feel so bad for Nathan. Why doesn't he buy an SRTA Jeep? That's because Roman has him on a very short leash. It's not as short as you think, but yeah, that's part of it. We Poor don't make Nathan, enough money. Poor Nathan gets stuffed into trunks, hatchbacks, and tiny seats. Yeah. While Roman eats gelato and watches and laughs. Now, when did you guys see him eat gelato? Because I never saw that. <laughs> I do love gelato. <laughs> behind us. The 2012 Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT8. Mwah. This baby puts out 470 horsepower at sea level. All right, the point of this is we're going to find out how much horsepower this is putting out up here in Denver at 5,400 feet of elevation. So what's your guess, Nathan? I'm going to say 300. I'm going to say we'll be lucky to get 300. Mm. Put a dollar on it? You got it, my man. Let's All find right. out. All right, Brian, explain to us the difference between horsepower at the crank and at the wheels. <laughs> <laughs> Quite a difference, actually. Quite a difference. You're going to see that, especially up here at altitude. Yes, those are the biggest brakes Chrysler has ever put on any vehicle, and there's a very good reason. A 6.4 liter Heavy. <laughs> yeah, it's badass. What comes out of the crank is, you know, crank horsepower. By the time it gets to the wheels, you're going to lose quite a bit of a uh, you know, drivetrain loss. Friction. Friction, at least 15%, especially on the all-wheel drive. So if we were at sea level, this car would not be putting out 470 horsepower at the wheels. No, no. No way. 15% less. Yes. Just right there, right out the get-go. Right out the get-go. And yep. now we're going to lose even more because... Yep. Air density and the elevation of where we're at. Yeah, we get on the car at 1600 RPM down here. Yep. Really jumps into its torque power right away, making full torque around 4000. Again, the blue line is torque. And then falling off a little more as you get into these higher RPMs. Remember, we were almost 150 miles an hour on this truck on the dyno right there. Red is horsepower taking off and making a nice graph and pulling the whole way up nice and conservative. So nice graph, little jump here. I'm not sure what that was. But otherwise, really good torquey car. It probably feels really strong on the street. This is amazing. At the factory, at the crank, that SRTA Jeep is putting out 470 horsepower and 465 pounds of the torque. And Nathan, I think you owe me a dollar because here, at a mile above sea level, on a hot day, at the wheels, 259 horsepower and 300 pound feet of torque. So, all those emails, before you get on the comment section, just mellow out a little bit, all right? There's a reason it takes 6.1 seconds to get to 60. Yeah, you have significant loss, people. And that's why we love turbochargers. Turbochargers and superchargers, Mwah! yummy yeah. stuff. As always, this is Roman. And Nathan. See you next time on the Fast Lane Car. Ciao. Just in case you're curious, the SRT8 version of the Grand Cherokee weighs 5,200 pounds, and it's got these air outlets and I mean outlets because the air comes in through the front goes cools the engine and comes out and does two things besides cooling the engine it also puts downforce on the rest of the car so that it sticks to the road better not bad pretty well engineered if you ask me 
Before you go, this is Dave Erickson in Spokane, Washington. The sun's coming up over the horizon. Going to be a gorgeous day here in the inland northwest. Uh, this week I'm driving the 2012 Infiniti G25 sedan journey. And first impressions, I'm not impressed. It's a real basic four-door sedan, no frills, but a lock and change in a week. I'll let you know. Stay tuned.